Now to the latest on the race for the White House, just 15 days until those final votes. And this morning, early in-person voting kicked off in the key battleground state of Florida. At least 28.1 million people have voted early around the country. So far, a new record actually being set every single day as both candidates hit the swing states hard in the home stretch. Our Mary Bruce in Washington tracking it all for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Amy. Well, just over two weeks to go, and that isn't a lot of time to change the trajectory of this race. President Trump down in the polls is now scrambling to hold on to states that he won comfortably in 2016, while Joe Biden's team is warning do not underestimate the president's ability to fight back and win this thing. 15 days to go, and the candidates are pounding the trail as they enter the final stretch. It's go time. Get out and vote. Down in the polls, the president is crisscrossing crucial states and seeming to admit a loss is possible. If I lose, what do I do? In Las Vegas Sunday, Trump making a rare visit to church, attending this packed indoor service, not wearing a mask. At a rally overnight in Carson City, he continued to insist the country is on the mend, mocking his rival Joe Biden for saying he'll follow the science. He'll listen to the scientists. If I listened totally to the scientists, we would right now have a country that would be in a massive depression. But over 12 million Americans are currently unemployed, and Congress is still fighting over a stimulus plan. As deaths in the U.S. climb past 219,000, Biden Sunday in the critical battleground state of North Carolina, holding a drive-in rally saying Trump's rosy picture of the pandemic is flat out wrong. Turn the corner. Things are getting worse. He continues to lie to us about the circumstances. Biden is leading Trump by 12 points nationally, according to our latest poll. But his team isn't taking anything for granted, blasting out a memo warning Donald Trump can still win this race and urging Biden supporters not to grow complacent. Trump is ramping up his rallies, campaigning heavily in states he narrowly won in 2016, like Wisconsin and Michigan, where Saturday he ripped into the governor, Gretchen Whitmer, just one week after the FBI revealed she was the target of an alleged domestic terror plot to kidnap her. You got to get your governor to open up your state. Lock them all up. Whitmer says the president's words are putting her life in danger. The president is at it again and inspiring and in incentivizing and um, inciting this kind of domestic terrorism. It is wrong. It's got to end. Now, after months of on again, off again talks on a stimulus, the window for action here is closing. And now House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is putting on a deadline. She says they need a deal by tomorrow. But that seems almost impossible. The two sides here are still far apart on how much to spend and what to spend it on, meaning millions of Americans who are still looking to Washington for some relief are likely going to have to wait until after the election. Amy. All right, Mary Bruce, thank you so much for that. And we will have complete coverage of the presidential debate on Thursday. George is anchoring with our our political team. It all starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.